Hello guys, welcome to Android Mate. In this video, we are going to create a splash screen having an animated logo, and for logo animation we are going to use Lottie Flies library. So let's get started without wasting much time. Open Android Studio. As you can see I have already created an empty project, with an empty activity which is main activity. Create a new activity, I am naming it splash activity. You can give it any name. Inside this activity we are going to add our animated logo. Then inside res folder, create a new directory and name it raw. Then open the browser and search for Lottie Flies and click on the very first link. After that click on integration, then Android library. By clicking on Android library, you will be redirected to GitHub and by scrolling down, you will get a dependency link. Then copy the dependency and paste it inside build.gradle file. Then let's replace the dependency link with a specific version and then click the sync button to download the dependency in the project. We are done with this file, so we can close it now. Then go to the splash activity file. Here firstly we will add a white background to the layout. Then we are going to add a Lottie Flies animation view, where we are going to call our animated image file. So to add an animated image, we need an image, so for that open your browser again and open Lottie Flies website. And in the search bar, search for the animated images you want. Just for demonstration purpose, I am using YouTube's logo. So follow these steps to download the animated image. You can get this file in multiple formats, but for now we prefer JSON format. So download the file in JSON format and then rename it. Then copy paste the file in the raw directory, which we have created inside res folder. Then call the file in the Lottie animated view, and then align it as per your requirement. Then set autoplay to true and loop as false, because we want to autoplay the animation, but we want to play it only once. We have completed designing the UI screen, now let's go to the main activity, class file. In the class file, we will firstly declare handler and runnable for scheduling the transition from one activity to another activity on interval. Then we will initialize runnable, basically runnable is an instance of the runnable interface, which defines a unit of work that can be executed. Then inside runnable, we will create an intent. Basically an intent is a messaging object that is used to request an action from another app component, in this case, to start a new activity. Splash activity dot this, is used as the context for the intent, and main activity, class specifies the class of the activity to be started, start activity, intent, this line triggers the system to start the main activity using the specified intent. Finish, this line is used to finish the current activity which is, splash activity, in our case. Finishing an activity removes it from the back stack, preventing it from being displayed again when the user presses the back button. Then we will schedule the runnable to run every 3 seconds, because the animated image I am taking is off 3 seconds. You can adjust the timing as per your requirement. Then we are using on destroy method to remove the callback when the activity is destroyed to prevent memory leaks. Then open manifest file to set the splash activity as the launcher activity. So we are done coding, let's test the app. As you can see the app is working fine. I hope this video was helpful for you. Please like, share and subscribe for more interesting videos.